Okay, infinitely galah. Here. This video is for owners of model railway layouts who want to be able to use digital command control from their computer using an operating system other than Windows. To run your model railway using a computer other than Windows, you need a piece of software called JMRI or Java Model Railroad Interface. JMRI will run on a Macintosh computer which is Mac OS 10.3, Tiger or later. This means it will run on an old power PC Mac. JMRI will work with the Hornby Elite controller and with the Hornby Earlink interface, so what this means is that you can run your model railway with any computer and almost any make of DCC controller. There are some devices such as Backman Dynamics, which cannot be used. In order to be able to install Linux on a laptop, you need to use a version of Linux which has a Wubi installer. The last version of Xeobuntu which has a Wubi installer is version 11.10. You can update this to the latest version of Zubuntu. What we have to do is to find and download the ISO of Zubuntu 11.10 and make it into a real CD. When we have got the real CD, we can pop it into the laptop and the Wubi installer will appear as indicated here. Now, you can see all we have to do here is click on the Wubi installer. If this window does not appear, then you have downloaded the wrong ISO. What is WUBI or Wubi? Wubi stands for Windows Based Ubuntu Installer. What does Wubi do? It installs a version of Ubuntu using a disk image file ISO or a real CD. It creates the Ubuntu installation as a huge 12 GB file called root.disk. This file is in the disks folder which is in a folder called Ubuntu which can be anywhere in your Windows PC, such as in the C or D partitions. If you click on an install, you can get rid of it and the machine will be back to normal. Here we have the JMRI installer disk, which comes with the Sprog 2. It does not matter if you have not got this disk, as you can download the software from the internet. Now, we restart the machine, and reboot into Linux. Xubuntu is now starting up, and in a minute we will be able to start the JMRI program. We do this by clicking open the home folder and clicking on the icon for Decoder Pro. That's all there is to it. Now you can see that it is all working, and the Eurostar train is being controlled from our Linux installation.